We're on lessons 17 and 18, converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. And by this point, many students will be ready for another time-saving tip. Let's take a look at box A. Here we have the fraction 7 fifths, and the procedure that we've been using is to rewrite this as blank over 5 plus blank over 5. And again, students may be able to see this and do this in their heads. So let's go ahead and try that instead of writing it down. Just ask yourself this. Can you do 7 divided by 5 evenly? The answer is no, so you're going to count backwards. 6 divided by 5, no. But 5 divided by 5 will work, so that's what I'll use. And what is 5 divided by 5? The answer is 1, so go ahead and write it down right away as a whole number. And what fraction is going to be left over? We'll have 2 fifths left over. Box your answer, and you're done. Let's go ahead and look at box B. Here we have the fraction 41 sixths, and we're going to try to do this in our head. Now, can you do 41 divided by 6 evenly? No, so you're going to count backwards. 40 is not going to work, neither will 39, 38, or 37 but I know 36 divided by 6 will work, so let's use that. And what is 36 divided by 6? That'll give me 6, so write it down nice and big as our whole number. And how much will you have left over? And I know that, that I'll have 5 sixths left over, so I'll write it down. And box your final answer of 6 and 5 sixths. If students aren't quite ready to make that jump yet, that's okay because with all the practice that they're getting, they'll get there. So let's take a look at box C and we'll do this one by writing it out. Here we have 59 sevenths, so we're going to break it up. We'll write blank over 7 plus blank over 7. And this makes sense because sevenths plus sevenths give you sevenths. Can you do 59 divided by 7? No, so we're going to count backwards. 58 is not going to work, 57 won't work, but 56 divided by 7 will work. So write down 56 right away. Now, 56 plus what number will give me 59? And the answer here is 3, so write it down. Next line, what is 56 divided by 7? The answer is 8. So write your whole number nice and big. And what's left over? We have 3 sevenths. Box your final answer of 8 and 3 sevenths.